Lastly, earthenware. Exactly what we said, dig up earth and burn it. If it's clay based, clay is a mixture of sheets. This is why clay is slippery when it's wet. There's a sheet of alumina. A, I'll just put in the letter A for alumina. There's a sheet of silica. And they are literally flat sheets. One sheet of each, stacked on top of each other, just like a sheet of paper. When you add water to clay, it goes between those sheets of clay and basically makes them float over the top of each other, which is why wet clay is slippery. Because physically, the sheets of alumina and, sili and silica are just, oh, sorry. Yeah, the sheets of alumina and silica are just sliding over the top of each other, yeah? So, in here as well, it's earthenware. We've got worms. We've got tree roots. You've got compost. And vegetable matter. We dig it out of the ground and we turn it into pipes. First thing that happens, this alumina, once again, does not want to live as straight alumina. It wants to live as a, a hydrated product. Al two O three dot something H two O N H two O. It this is a hydration product. When I put this thing in a kiln, eighty degrees, the free water disappears. Eighty degrees, all this water between the sheets just boils off and evaporates. Yeah, the chemically bound water still stays, but the free water evaporates. When I heat it up a bit more, 150 to 300, that's enough heat to drive this water off the chemical compound because it's just physically attached to it by chem um, with a chemical bond, but it does break at about that temperature. That evaporates. So we've kind of got chemically bound water. Go up to above 300 degrees, now we're getting to a point where all the organics are burning off. The tree roots, the earthworms, the compost, any vegetable matter. Say 300 to 700 degrees. 700 degrees is glowing orange. As you know, fire embers glow orange, they're just burning. You continue to heat it up, you're burning off organics. Organics are vaporised. And the final stage in forming earthenware, now what you've got at 700 degrees is you've just got alumina and silica. Now you heat it up to 900 degrees to 1300 degrees. And what happens there is this. The alumina and the silica all melt together and form a glass. But it doesn't happen everywhere. It only happens at the start, at the points on the outside, and it physically melts and sticks together the corners of each grain with a glass. That's a low strength earthenware. The higher strength ceramics, the vitrified ceramics, vitrum, vitrified, vitrum was the Latin word for glass, vitrified ceramic, they just melt more glass in there. Increases the density, it shrinks, it's less porous. If you think about an old clay pipe, like one of the old sewer pipes, or a roof tile, if you break that you can still see the holes inside it. The holes used to be a tree root. Yeah. Think through your, um, God forbid you ever do it, you drop your bum's best cup and break it. Look inside there and you will see it's like that. That's bone china. Bone china is made from, go figure, ground up animal bones. Calcia, ground up calcium. Calcium and alumina and silica. Clay, melts together, forms a nice dense white, pure white ceramic. No, that's essentially the ceramic's content of civil structures.